Roughly two months ago, there was an EDM sound creation contest hosted by ChromeHeaven.com, and the winner was to receive a copy of Dan Stisco's brand new transistor organ sound pack for the Korg Chrome. My entry was one of the two that tied for first place by vote. So I have the sound pack, and I was looking on the internet, and I realized there's no demonstration of how they sound. No, There's no demos, no sound clips, not even on Dan's website. So I thought, you know what? Why don't I make a reaction video? So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to put these sounds into the Korg. We're going to play through and explore them together. This will, my, this will be my first time hearing them, as well as yours, most likely. So, let's begin. All right, so here we have our sounds. Let me go to uh, bank itself. These are the sounds in the program mode, and I believe there are some com combinations as well. So let's start with the first one here. Vox 16 foot sine slash saw. There's a drum track with it. So this basic this looks like it's just as if you press down one of the tabs, so there's no vibrato. There's there's pitch bend still, but there's no effects or anything added to it. See your next one would be Vox eight foot sign saw. Same drum track. Same ARP. Alright. Four foot. Okay. Vox 
box two sign. Box two saw. Box three sign. And I should say, before I continue, that I have never played a combo organ. I don't think I've actually ever had a chance to play one even. I haven't run into any at the pawn shops or used Gear Store's music around or anything, but... Anyways... Transistor click. So it seems like for all these, these are... I think these are intended to be built in combi mode, so it's just the individual little elements. Kind of like you would on a Yamaha synthesizer keyboard, like my Motif, um, you would have eight elements per sound, um, or in performance you could have multiples. That four, or you could have, and you could have 16 in the song multi-mode, so. And I know that there were some sounds that were made where you would take each individual voice, is what they were called in Yamaha, and then you'd add them into performance mode, and then that would combine those four, or three, or two, whatever you wanted, up to four, would combine into one single sound. So I think that's what these are intended for. Okay, FISA base 16. This must be from a far FISA then. That turned down the level there a little. It was overloading the inputs. There was definitely a lot of frequency going on there. Same drum track. I think it's probably the same drum track for all these, just the default. Okay, for a few strings, 16. Flute eight. Strings eight. Piccolo four, huh? Nah, not 
not like a real piccolo. If you were, you could just do your jig. But. Alright, so that's the end of some program mode. So my guess is does none of these have any effects or vibrato or anything on them. I'm thinking we have to go to combi mode. So let's see. Combi D. Right, because combi C I'm thinking is just what's already there. Yep, okay. Alright, so everything would be in bank D then. I guess. Oh well, here we go. It looks like in bank D there are 32 combis. Alright, so let's start with number one, Continental Basic 1. Turn the volume a bit. like no ARP, but... Now oh, here we go. Okay, so knob 2 acts as... So like pulling out draw bars on a Hammond. So. Nice. All right. Continental full. Okay, so it looks like switch one gives us an octave. All right. Continental Vibrato. Continental Quiet. Almost like an, I can make sort of a fake church organ out of this.
Next doors. Also, I put ARP on. Oh, I see. This one has bass on it. had the base. Oh, well, it looks okay. It looks like they did. Well, now I know that, I guess. All right, combo soul. Sixty TV show. I kind of like that one. Let's see here. Continental 8. Thank you. 
a second here. Your foot pedal assigned to volume. I'm an FC7 controlling. It's just an expression pedal, but. I am supposed to be the sign, but I'm combos in full Leslie. Of course, the drum track for this one. Okay. And bass, finger bass. Alright. Sounds fun. I remember reading, and I'm obviously too young to have done this myself, but these were good, for, the combo organs were used, Leslie speakers, the rotating speakers, in place of a B3 or other Hammond, because they were a lot cheaper. And, I mean, that sounds okay, actually. In my mind, this sounds maybe not 100% authentic, but good enough, I mean, at least for my band work. Alright, on to the next. Combo Sawful, Leslie. Transistor Leslie. So I'm going to for transistor. Okay, so this is science distortion then. Nice, so. <laughs> I 
Alright, nice transistor whistle, yeah. Psychedelic phaser. Huh. I like that. Fun. Put the tempo up on here a little. There's the expression pedal like side chain. I like that one. Vintage funk. Vintage synth organ. Definitely be used as a pad. Huh. All right. Genesis synth organ.
Professor Nostalgia. Not the right instrument for this, but just for fun, you could do. All right, let's see here. If he's a heavy vibrato. Piece of strings. I see. I think he has the setup so you can use them like the tabs. Just go along and mute every thing. If 
Lisa Floyd 60s. Nice delay on there. Fisa Compact. Okay, so this would have to do with James Bond then, I guess. This one a lot actually. For Fisatella Journal. Fisa New Chorist. I 
I'm gonna find this one. I, it's another one that could be used as a light church organ. Not that you know, would use a combo organ in church, but this is kind of nice. It's an offertory. Not sure if this is a reference to a song name or if it is actually supposed to be somewhat like a church organ. It has if it's supposed to have that kind of sound, but. Last one for FISA organ pad. Thank you for watching. This has been a demo of Dan Stesco's Transistor Organ Sound Pack for the Korg Chrome.